As mentioned earlier, today is Earth Day, a global event where organizations and activists campaign for environmental protections. For one nonprofit, today's focus is on getting the word out that educating girls is fundamental to protecting the planet and addressing climate change. Christina Lowry is here to discuss. She's the CEO of Girl Rising, a nonprofit that uses storytelling to change the way the world values girls and their education by delivering educational programming to more than 10 million young people. Thanks so much for joining us. I love everything Girl Rising represents. What can you tell us about your organization's Earth Day event today? What makes it unique? So in just about an hour, we're holding a special virtual Earth Day event featuring an inspiring group of young change makers from around the world, including some of our future rising fellows from a new fellowship program we launched last year. The event is called How to Remake the World because that's what young people are asking for, calling upon world leaders to change the systems of inequity that have given way to climate change. You know, for us, Earth Day is an opportunity to connect with our global community and get the word out that educating girls is fundamental to protecting our planet and addressing climate change. Kriti, the organization has launched a fellowship program called Future Rising. Can you tell us a little more about this? Yeah, so Future Rising is a multi-part program that we launched last year that focuses on the links between educating girls and addressing climate change. Because the reality is, even though there are well-known, huge, positive impacts that girls' education has on climate change, these connections are not very well known. So one of the parts of this program is a fellowship program in which we support young change makers around the world who are working at the intersection of climate change and environmental justice and gender equality from all over the world. You're seeing now one of the fellows, Ayo Solanke from Lagos, Nigeria. She's working on a graphic novel about the connections between drought and child marriage. And here you see Julieta Martinez, an 18 year old from Chile who built an educational platform that's teaching hundreds of girls across Latin America about climate change and about how to take action. And she's making a short film about one of the girls from her academy. Um, part of this program is we support these fellows with financial resources, with mentoring new networks, and teaching them storytelling skills so that their vision and their voices can be seen and heard. They're all doing just amazing things, and each one of them has a story to tell about environmental justice and about the power of girls to make a difference. Such incredible young women. Christina, what can we do? What can others do to help to become involved? Well, getting involved with our organization, you can go to our website to find out more. The reality is there's so much that we can each do, both on the climate side of things and on the supporting girls and women side of things. Find out what's happening in your communities. I would say don't think about climate change as this big mountain to climb, but think about what can you do in your backyard, in your community. And as we're talking about educating girls, empowering young, young women to become leaders is critical. An enormous amount of data shows that when women, leader, when women leaders are in positions of power, they enact much more environmentally friendly legislation. Um, and that's in positions all across society. So people, each person can do something and can support girls and women that they know uh, and can support women leaders in positions in companies and in, in government. Girl Rising, everyone check it out. It's amazing. Christina Lowry, thank you so much. Thank you so much.